This video will walk you through tutorial 10.1 and week 12, which deals with inheritance. To begin with, download the starting project, which is the CD account test.zip. And once you do that, unzip the zip file and open the CD account test file. Open the solutions file and uh, double click the form CS to have a look at what it looks like. So this is your starting code. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on project and we're going to add a class and the name of this class is going to be savings account and we're going to click add it. Now the next thing we need to do is type the code shown on lines 11 through 43 in program 10.3. So I'm just going to go and look at the code that I have here. And we're looking at the code for the savings account, which is all this. I'm going to copy it and just paste it. So this is the savings account and what do we have in it? We have three private fields, account number, interest rate, balance. We have a public constructor to initialize these to some default values. And we have uh, properties, which is the C sharp way that allows us to provide public access to modify and see our private variables. So this is all things we learned from the previous videos that we saw in the previous tutorials. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add another class. And this class is going to have the name CD account. And we're going to add that as well. Now what the CD account is going to be is, you have the code of that as well up here. So I'm just going to copy paste it real quick. So what the CD account does is it extends my savings account, which is the other class I had. So this object or class extends the other class. So that means it inherits all of its variables and properties that we have defined from before. So this class has access to all the things the other class has. And in addition to that, we're going to add a field or a variable, which is going to be the maturity date. And we're going to have another uh, property, which is going to allow us to change and see this private variable. In addition to that, we have also a constructor, which is going to in initialize our maturity date to blank initially. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the form CS code editor. What you're seeing here. So we're going to add this, this piece of code to my form CS form one CS. So what this does is it creates a method get data, which has one of those variables of the CD account type named account. It also makes a couple of double uh, decimal variables, an interest rate and a balance. Uh, we're going to get the account number of, of this account from the text box that we have in our, in our form here. So we're going to get all the information in there. We're going to get the account number, the maturity date. We're going to get the interest rate. Right, so all, all that information is going to be get from gotten from uh, from this uh, form here. The maturity date, the balance, the interest rate, the account number is all going to be from here. So we need to go to the form CS and we need to update update the um, on click events for these buttons. Keep in mind that you don't want to go in there and just copy paste this code into in, in your form one CS code. If you do that without double clicking these 
buttons, your program is not going to work. Okay, so you have to double click this. That will create the method for you. And then you're going to get the code for that method and put it in that method. Okay, and you have to go back to the other form, to the form, double click the exit button. And now we're going to add the exit button action, what we need to happen when the exit button uh, has been clicked. So uh, what happens is um, as soon as we click the create object button, which is this, what is going to happen is we're going to create a my account, which is one of those CD accounts. And we're going to get the data for that my account, which is what we saw earlier, right? What we're going to do is we're just going to go in there. And we're going to put all the info, pull all the information from these text boxes. And we're going to save it into our, our object CD account, which only has one variable, but because it inherits the variables of this other object, then we can store all these different things in it. The maturity rate, the account number, the interest rate, and the balance are all going to be saved into a CD account. That's what we're doing. Okay. And the CD account, whatever we store in here, right? Whatever we save into this CD account object here is going to be updated uh, to this object right here because this object, my account, is passed by reference into the get data method. So when we pass this object into the method, whatever changes we did in this method up here to this object are going to be saved to this object. And then the next thing we do is simply up update the labels here that you see to the data of this object, right? We're just going to use the properties of my account to extract the information and put it in here. So if we run the program and we enter the sample data that you see for the program, and we hit the create object button, then this is what you're going to be seeing. 